Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out what do they secretly find attractive about you? But before we go ahead and hop right in, I just want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I do offer personal readings. For those of you that are interested, they are $25, but all that info you can find down below. But let's go ahead and get started. So I have prepared four groups for you guys, starting with pile one, two, three, and four. And let's get started on one. Okay, hello group one, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and see what do they find secretly attractive about you. So we have the Ace of Swords as well as Protection. Okay, so with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this to me talks about confusion, being stuck, not really, um, you know, having a hard time communicating of some sorts here. And with protection, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, or a Libra here, okay? But with protection, what they secretly find attractive about you is that you could be a person who is very much, who very much cares about the community, cares about your family, just they probably have seen the way that you have handled certain situations, handled certain people in your life, and how you take care of them here, okay? Because with protection, this is giving me like strong Taurus vibes to where he's teaching people. So you guys could be great help. You guys could um, be in a position to where you teach in some type of way. This could be mom, dad, actual teacher, tarot reader, okay? Um, some of you guys are heavier set and they like that about you too with protection here. And there's people that are, you know, praying to this lion in the middle. So it could be one, you know, you could be this character, you could be that character. So you could be one who just really admires them. And that's what they secretly like about you or um, that you are admired. Okay. But with the Ace of Swords, group one, what they secretly find attractive about you is that you're brilliant, you're intelligent, um, your communication style, the way that you speak, it definitely has an effect on people okay so what they secretly like about your group one is um your dealings with people they see that you are someone trustworthy here you are someone who could be very protective of those who they love and that you respect people as well so let's go ahead and pull some more cards for you And you know, with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, they could like the fact too that you kind of sugarcoat the truth sometimes, okay? With protection, it's like you really don't want to hurt um, people that you love. Or if you know that's, you know, what you're going to say to somebody is going to hurt them, it's like you will not just be too piercing. We have peace, yeah, you would rather keep the peace in situations here between you guys and they that's what they find attractive about you it's like you don't run people over you don't try to rub it in their face it's like you just want everybody to be on good terms here you just rather leave instead with time to go so let's see they see you as someone very chill as well with peace And there is an egg in the this card here, excuse me. So they could see you as someone who is definitely um, working on something. You're like in the incubation process to where um, you're waiting for something to hatch. You're waiting for something to grow. And you don't mind being patient in regards to getting whatever it is that you want. So that's what they secretly like about you. You're peaceful, you're zen, you... Um, understand that things take time and just a very chill vibe is what i'm getting for you group one angel of balance in the reverse so goddess of the moon in the reverse so we have pisces sagittarius jupiter energy here so you guys are very spiritual people i feel like what they find attractive about you is that you are able to um 
see the deeper meanings of things like let's say if there's chaos in a connection you're having with this person it's like you won't try to bite back you won't try to one up them it's like instead you will remove yourself from the situation but just see things in a higher order okay attachment in the reverse yes so let's pull some more cards and with angel of balance in the reverse also what i want to say with this card is like you don't try to um yes you don't stick around but it's like you don't have you don't try to um strategize different ways to go about um situations with this person with these people here okay you don't easily let things slide is what i want to say the hanged man so what was i saying sagittarius pisces energy leo energy as well there's some kind of um spiritual nature to you group one that they secretly like about you and they probably don't tell you but at the same time it's grounded as well okay um they get this vibe from you and i feel like it has to do either with your absence or just how you have handled this person here but with the hanged man you're able to see things from a different perspective judgment more sagittarius energy so judgment um you guys could have a voice that's like pretty loud like you guys could have a really loud laugh um just kind of your energy is very big okay whether you're physically big or not i'm just getting like your laugh your energy to where people flock towards you people feel like you have their back group one okay judgment also talks about stepping into your power at this time um and you make good judgment calls is what they secretly like about you but they definitely do see that you are very much deep into your spiritual practices and if you are not that spiritual then it's like you really put action behind your words is what i want to say eight of swords in the reverse yes i love it group one um what they secretly find attractive about you is how you handle situations like i said eight of swords reverse talks about finding a way out okay you don't play victim in a situation here the tower so group one i feel like you're not afraid to shake shit up this is scorpio energy and we have it right next to judgment so i feel like the things that you say um group one triggers other people or what you do triggers people and this person finds that attractive about you here um and with the tower card too you are not afraid to um let go and bring down whatever was not working for you right the king of swords so you are a very fair person uh, group one this is what they secretly like about you that you will yes talk to this person but at the same time you have your sword up and with this king of swords there's a female she's showing a graph to other people so it's like you try to do the best thing for everybody involved is what i want to say here with the king of swords i feel like once again you are very intelligent we have the two of cups in the reverse you are very intelligent, group one. Um, I also feel like you could be quite funny, you could be quite witty, you do great in um, crowds, you do great in a room full of people here. Yeah, very witty. You guys could have great comebacks as well. So let's see what else wants to come out. The Six of Swords in the reverse. So. With the six of swords in the reverse and we have the page of pentacles reverse they could like the fact that you are having a hard time mentally detaching from this situation but they definitely do see you transitioning at this time group one that's what they find attractive nine of pentacles so um you're about your money group one this is what they find attractive 
they like your body you guys could be real tall is what i want to say so they like your height they like um your body here they could like your clothes as well and they think you own some nice things maybe you like the finer things in life okay but i want to say height okay but you care about your finances you care about your health you care about your body group one and that's what they find secretly attractive about you you're very feminine i feel but also um very sharp so we have death so what was i saying they see you transitioning at this time group one and we have it right rooted down by the tower so lots of scorpio energy scorpio is about personal power scorpio is about change right um you could have slept with this person as well they like your sexuality but you're very solid within yourself at the same time i like to see the nine of pentacles with the tower because this lets me know that um you don't get rocked too easily they think that you're pretty solid but um you're not afraid to make changes in your life or to call people out um break things down the four of pentacles yes you guys are very good with money and you guys are very reserved i feel like you guys preserve your body as well okay so group one that is all i have for you leave a little crystal ball emoji if this resonated at all and we're gonna move on to group two now hey group two welcome to your reading so let's go ahead and see um what do they find secretly attractive about you so we have the king of pentacles as well as spark of splendor um so with the king of pentacles here you guys could be male or female okay this is big boss energy um before i started this i heard um yg big bank <laughs> what's it called big bank little bank <laughs> so take that how it resonates but um you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn or you are or this is just the embodiment here you guys are boss energies like i said you guys are masters of the material world and if you're not then it's just that you guys are very solid within yourself you guys very much um make good connections with people i feel like you guys can be funny or you guys just have nice style nice things that you own to where you're very attractive um some of you guys could you know have your own youtube channel have your own businesses or there's just something about you group one where you're just on your money okay you want to make money you want to look like money you want to smell like money <laughs> is what i'm getting here and i like to see this king energy because the king element to me is all about um initiating change so you guys actually put actions behind your words is what i want to say group two and this is what they find attractive about you okay you are a provider you are a breadwinner and with spark of splendor here there's a bunch of people giving gifts to this um man here in the middle and he's like playing an instrument and they're giving him flowers they're praying to him so they could secretly like the fact that you know maybe you have a lot of options and you're not paying attention to them you guys could be a bit stubborn as well with the king of pentacles but they do see you as very attractive they do see that people are attracted to you time for a nap so they think that you're very chill with time for a nap and we have blessed so they see you quite innocent they see you as someone who uh has gone through a spiritual awakening of some sort and it's like you guys don't really like to rock the boat if anything when shit goes down group two i feel like you don't get rocked too easily um you know your lane you know when to engage and when to not and with spark of splendor you guys could very much just be into your hobbies as well you guys could be virgos um but just very much into your hobbies and let me tell you group two people love people who are doing things that they love to do okay so that's what they secretly like about you um whatever you're involved with here and you guys could be making money out of this as well you guys could have slept with this person with time for a nap
action. So what was I saying? You guys really do put action behind your words here. Um, there's a white horse and a black horse. The white horse is winning. This lets me know it's the good side. So, and we did have blessed at the bottom of the deck too in the other deck. So they see you as someone pure. It's like, um, they see you as good people group two um and that's what they secretly find attractive about you here because you guys could be in a position of power of some sort but it's like you try to do the best thing that's good for everyone and that you don't really bug people too much it's like you're just busy working or just doing things that you love here yeah the second chakra you guys are very creative passionate i'm getting a bit of entrepreneurial energy here as well but let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So leave a little fire emoji for iPhone, Android, if you guys made it this far, if it's resonating. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. So with this card for the Knight of Cups, um, this shows a man who's pretty much just daydreaming about a female. He has a picture of her in here. So I feel like you guys don't really stay stuck in daydreams. You guys really don't. Um, you guys could be not too lovey-dovey, not too emotional people. Okay, and that's what they like about you, secretly like about you. You're very masculine is what I want to say for my males here. And for my females too, you guys could just be very masculine. Um, yes, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Four of Pentacles in the reverse, you guys are able to let go of things, um, what they secretly like about you, group two, is that you let go of this person. The Seven of Cups in the reverse, you guys could be coming off drugs at this time, or it's just like, you guys are very methodical and strategic people to where you're able to choose the best decision for you i feel like you guys do not get stuck in fantasies okay we have the knight of cups reverse and the seven of cups reverse this to me is like daydreaming fantasy illusions and then we have the king of pentacles who is very grounded so you like to stay grounded within yourself here you don't get too attached to ideals or things justice in the reverse so libra energy i feel like you guys have a nice sense of style they could like your heels if you like to wear heels they like your jewelry they like your dress here um you guys could have divorced this person or just something may not have turned out in your favor group two and that's what they secretly like about you but at the same time it's like you're kind of just water off a duck's back looking at your other options the emperor so aries taurus energies you guys are very much on your shit this emperor she's wearing glasses so you guys could wear glasses but they like the fact that um you're business oriented you really do care about the community the emperor to me is someone who's very much um about the community like i said right you care about your family your friends your co-workers the community here and you guys just try to do the best thing i feel like you guys could be very much neat and tidy people you guys could be a bit minimalist is what i want to say as well with the emperor and again more stubborn energy with the emperor here okay boss energy so let's pull some more cards the nine of pentacles so yeah you guys are about your money <clears throat> You guys are about your money here, and I feel like a lot of you guys are single. Um, again, your clothing, you guys could be tall. Or just, you know, really good with your finances. 
You guys are very independent people as well. Wow. The star. Ooh, group two. This person sees you as the star. They see you as someone who um, gives them hope. Someone who, again, Aquarius energy. This is about the community. I feel like um, group two, the actions that you do really kind of just um, wake this person up and gives them ideas. It gives them hope. It kind of just makes them think like what they're doing. Because um, the star card to me is about, you know, consciousness and the collective and being woke and all of that. Um, but with the star card, they, they do see you as, this is good energy, okay? They see you in a very good light, uh, group two. But what they find secretly attractive is that you stand out. And they probably don't tell you this, um, but you definitely stand out to this person. You are something different from what they're used to. The King of Wands, you're a go-getter. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius. You are a go-getter. You make things happen. The King of Wands is someone who is following their dreams. And this could be a male or female energy. Your ability to bounce back, your ability to go after the things that you want and make changes in your life, group two. The lovers in the reverse. So they definitely like your body, but something may have happened between you guys with the lovers in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles, they see you as relationship material. They see you as someone solid, someone dependable and grounded here. So this is good, group two. So leave a little crystal ball emoji, or what was I saying before, a fire emoji? Leave an emoji if this resonated in any way. And if you guys enjoyed this, but we're gonna move on to group three now. Okay, hello group three, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and see what do they secretly find attractive about you? So we have the seven of wands as well as lamp of knowledge. Okay, so uh, group three, this is good. What they secretly like about you is your boundaries. They feel like they have learned a lot from you already, or they feel like you can teach them a lot here. Maybe you guys are teachers, whether this be um, in spiritual matters, a mom or dad, or just in a position at your work here. Okay, they like the fact that um, this is good energy. I feel like what they secretly like about you, Group 3, is that you are, um, someone pure, but also someone not to be messed with. I feel like you definitely do have your boundaries when it's necessary, and they see you kind of just growing at this time with Lamp of Knowledge. There's this one master here, and he's teaching other, um, other, um, kids here so i feel like you guys really do practice what you preach as well at this time and with doing that you teach people as well okay um with the seven of wands you guys could definitely be talented in some type of way and they like your talents they like the fact that you're hard to get to okay group three this is cool and it's like, you guys try to, you know, the Seven of Wands comes after the Six of Wands, which is victory. So I feel like you guys try to, you know, you guys keep on trying to do the right thing. Excuse me. Stay in that position. Peace. They think that you're very chill. Okay with peace here and it's like in regards to situations that may ruffle your feathers a little bit um you know how to stay calm cool collected and just wanting peace for everyone not wanting to bite at them not wanting to one up them it's like you'd rather have peace and they sense some sort of spiritual nature in regards to that as well clean it up so they see you really just cleaning up things in your life at this time they could see you having a glow up as well. Um, 
and just trying to make room for the new. This seven of wands guy is like pushing down people, you know, like don't get into my territory. Because I feel like there's something new that you're bringing in and with peace there's an egg. There's an egg that's waiting to be hatched. So they see you definitely, um, like I said, growing at this time and just being very preserved with your energy and just wanting peace um, and good people by your side, okay? So let's see, let's see. Hostilities. This card is also about boundaries here. This card to me is pretty much like the Seven of Wands, so you guys may have really spoken your truth to this person, you guys probably kind of brought the hammer to this person, or just let them know what's up here. Okay, so what they secretly like about you, group three, is your blunt honesty here. They like that you're very truthful, a uh, man holding a heart, so whether you're male or you're female, they like the fact that you, um, you guys are soft yet strong is what I want to say here. You guys um, follow your heart. You guys try to lead with your heart is what I want to say here. And you will leave people with love is what I want to say. Man holding a heart, you guys could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male. Um, you guys could be very much just into music, into your instruments, into your hobbies here as well. Okay. So let's pull some more cards. This is lovely. They could like the fact group, um three that you have options or there's a lot of people that want to get close to you there's a lot of people that want to um see what you're doing hear what you're talking about and get on your level okay seven of wands um they secretly like the fact that you know people want to get on your level and you're just very selective here because he's pushing down some people, but yet in this card, he's invited some people. So what they secretly like about you, group three, is that you could um, have a small group of friends and they're included, okay? Or maybe you push this person away. The nine of wands in the reverse. You guys remove yourselves from um, situations that hurt you. Um, with the Nine of Wands too, a lot of people get stuck in this phase in their life here where with the Nine of Wands, it's just something that they've always known. It's something that they, that's, you know, just normal for them. Like, um, for example, if people have been in abusive relationships or just have grown up in, you know, poverty, not the greatest way. Um, I know it's very hard to come out of that, but they see you not in that energy anymore you have strong boundaries you are becoming wiser and um, removing yourself from those type of situations okay and i'm not trying to talk down on anybody who's going through that this is just what i am getting the ten of pentacles so you are very much about your money um they could like your family as well but they like the fact that you are trying to build a legacy at this time, or maybe you have ended things with them. With the Ten of Pentacles, you are very abundant. The Moon card. They like that you are mysterious here with the Moon card. And we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So yes, you guys could be a bit spiritual in some type of way. I'm getting Cancer energy, Cancer, Pisces. With the Moon card, you guys could um, be not so much talkers. Okay, you guys like to not really be seen, is what they secretly like about you. Nine of Swords in the reverse, so you are not lazy group three and this is what they secretly like about you you take care of yourself as well with the nine of swords um you know you take care of yourself outwardly and innerly here 
And with the Ten of Pentacles, they see you quite stable. And with the Moon card as well, I feel like there's something seductive about you. There's something that's like dark and mysterious about you too. I'm not sure if it's like a profile picture or just if you guys have met with each other. Um, some things that you like that you express to them. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. That they secretly like. The Three of Cups. So they think you're a joy to be around. You guys could actually be very fun to party with, very fun to drink with. You guys are the life of the party. You guys know how to work with other people, make people laugh. Um, and just, you guys could probably make really good mixed drinks as well. If this has nothing to do with partying, then it's just like celebrations and joy. Um, again, small friend group is what I'm getting. With the Three of Cups to the Moon card, I'm not sure if there was a third party situation going on here. I'm not too sure, but let's pull some more cards to finish this off. Leave a little fire emoji if this is resonating, if you guys made it this far. The Five of Cups reversed. So they like the fact that you are not sad, okay? You don't stay stuck in a depressed energy. You look at your other opportunities, you smile, you um, get out of that funk. Ten of Swords, rooted down by the moon. So with the Ten of Swords, what they secretly like about you is that you could have um, been in a situation where this person has hurt you, group three, but how you're coming out on top, you have strong boundaries now, you're wanting to end things and you're learning from this. This is gonna resonate for some of you guys. With the Ten of Swords, um, you guys are Phoenix Risings right now. Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but with Temperance, once again, with peace, you guys are very chill people, very spiritual people. And we have it rooted down by the Three of Cups as well, so it's like, I feel like you guys are very popular, okay? You guys know when to give and you guys know when to hold back here, okay? You have a nice balance of talking and not talking, of giving and receiving, of leading and following is what I want to say. Two of Swords Reverse, you are coming to the truth about things in your life, about this situation here, and this is what um, they find secretly attractive. So group three, I'm just getting like a major bounce back, okay? A very wise energy here and boundaries. So group three, once again, leave a little fire emoji if this resonated, if you liked it, if you made it this far. And um, we're gonna move on to group four. Hey group four, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and see what do they find secretly attractive about you. So. We have temperance in the reverse as well as seed of creation. So you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius or um, you guys are one, you don't have to be. But with temperance in the reverse, what I want to say here, this to me usually signifies someone coming out of a situation or a period of their life to where they're not letting things slide anymore. Anything that was not working for them, they are removing themselves. I feel like you guys, what they secretly like about you too, group four, is that you don't try to keep on pushing something if it's not working and you don't try to, you know, be strategic or strategize in regards to um, get to this person or get to things that you want in life. It's like you, you know, if something's not working, you'll, you'll remove yourself, right? And I feel like you guys are just very creative people. I, I want to say you guys have a lot of hope. You guys give this person a lot of hope. There's just some creativity, something that you do here to where they see you evolving, they see you changing, they see you as very expressive, creative, right? Um, they see you as someone powerful and very intelligent, okay? They could like um, that you're spiritual in nature as well. But the main thing that I'm getting here too, group four, is what they secretly like about you. You are intelligent, okay? You do not let things slide with this person or with things in your life. 
it's like, yes, you can find other solutions, but it's not in a manipulative way, okay? Serendipity. Wow, this is great. So a lot of Sagittarius, Jupiter energy. Jupiter is the philosopher. It is seeing things from, um, wow, milk and honey. It is seeing things from a higher perspective, okay? A broader perspective, a wider one. So they see you as someone who, yeah, I want to say like hopeful. You see things differently than most people is what I'm getting here. I feel like they see you as someone different. They see you as someone lucky and they see you as someone who could help change their life or they see you as it, okay? Milk and honey, these are like the two greatest cards to get in this deck here. So with milk and honey, they think that you're lavish. They think that, um, you know, what they secretly like about you, um, they like the way that you look, the way that you are going about life, the things that you do, the things that you say. So let's pull some more cards. They see you as someone who has luck on their side, group four, okay? Door to romance. So they think that you are very, very romantic, okay? Um, you could have slept with this person, but what I'm getting here is that they think that you're sexy, they think that you're seductive, you're seducing, um, you're very romantic, you like to take your time in relationships, and just whatever you apply yourself to, group four, they see that you do it with your whole heart, you do it with your whole passion here. And they could see you letting go of some stuff to make room for new. And they do see luck being on your side. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some more cards for you guys. Two of Swords. So they see you as someone chill with the Two of Swords. You are someone who likes to meditate. You are someone who likes to um, listen to their intuition. Okay, this was too many cards. I'm not going to take them. But in regards to this person, Group 4, with serendipity and door to romance, they do see you as a good partner. They see you as someone who they want, okay? This is going to resonate for some people. This is really good. Two of cups in the reverse. So they can like the fact that maybe you're not seeing this relationship for how it is. They could like the fact that maybe you broke things off with them. Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles could talk about failure or it could talk about um, reaping rewards for, from your harvest here. Okay, so they definitely do see you um, in your bag here. There's something, what they like about you, Group 4, is that you plant seeds and we have seed of creation. So they see you physically growing and they see you as someone who is just very much focused on their money and just whatever it is that you are creating right now. Ten of Wands in the reverse. So you're able to, I want to say you work smarter, not harder. And that you are able to drop baggage. You don't take baggage with you here. Okay. But we have the Seven of Pentacles right next to Serendipity, so I see this more as, um, you know, in regards to work and in regards to your finances, you are now reaping some rewards in some type of way. They see you working for your money. Justice in the reverse. You could have divorced this person. They could have divorced you here. 
um, justice shows a lady, so they see you as someone who has nice style. You guys could wear heels, have nice clothes, or maybe there was something that just did not turn out in your favor in regards to this connection, group four, but it's like you're, you are seeing things for how they are now. Or we do have the two of swords here, so they could see you having a hard time seeing things for how they truly are. See, let's see. Page of Swords. So they could like the fact that you could be spying on them, watching their stories, what have you here. Or you know, since it is rooted down by the Two of Cups reverse, they could like the fact that maybe you cut this person out. Um, you guys are rebels. They secretly like the fact that you're a rebel, whether you consider yourself one or not. There's something that you do to where um, it's kind of different, and this could be in regards to the way that you think, what you speak about. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So they see you as someone, once again, very lucky. A lot of Sagittarius energy here. Um, Wheel of Fortune reverse talks about rolling with the punches going with the flow here but what they secretly like about you group four is that they could see that you are having a bit of a hard time really trying to overcome this death but they do see you making changes they do see you making changes in your life with death you could have slept with this person Scorpio energy. The Five of Swords. Ooh, something happened between you guys. So they could like the fact, you know, and we have the Nine of Cups, that maybe you hurt them in some type of way or they have hurt you. But with the Nine of Cups being here, it's like they see you content and happy by yourself is what I want to say with the Nine of Cups. They see you kind of just doing you. Single. Yeah, it's like you're not, they like the fact that you're not attracted to them anymore. That you could just be single, just coming out of depression, coming out of a funk here. Okay, so they like the fact that you're bouncing back. Maybe after some hardships this person has given to you or they have witnessed you with somebody else here. And there may be a Scorpio that's going to message you. But group four, leave a little heart emoji if this resonated in any way. If you enjoyed this, um, that's all I have for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next pick a card.